Hey guys, Hacksaw Tech here for another video, and today we're going to be talking about a way that you can use Zoom to get audio from your computer. Now, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I've seen a ton of videos online that show you how to capture audio from your computer. Um, you can use the built-in Windows recording application. You can use Audacity. There are a ton of different ways to do it. Um, I personally tried almost all of these methods that I could find, and none of them worked for me, at least directly, without having to troubleshoot. Uh, and I still wasn't able to get a lot of these methods to work uh, because you know it could be something related to drivers or other different variables um, that can make it really difficult to work. So what I'm going to show you is a way that's going to work for really anyone running Windows, and you can use this, um, should be able to be used on Mac, really any device, um, desktop device that supports Zoom. Um, and so we're gonna just go ahead and dive into it now. I'm gonna show you how you can do this um, and why I think this is the easiest way to capture audio from your desktop machine. So let's go ahead and jump into Zoom. The first thing you're gonna need is a Zoom account. Um, you can register for free if you don't already have one. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch Zoom here. Um, and log into my account so you can see how to do this. Now when you log in for the first time here or just after you've logged into your account, um, the first thing you'll need to do is click on this orange new meeting icon here. And that's going to launch a session here, a meeting with just yourself, no participants. I'll click on join with computer audio. And I'm gonna maximize that just so you can see everything here. Uh, and now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mute myself and make sure that my video is not showing in Zoom. What you're going to need to do as the first step here is you're going to need to share your screen. So you just click on share screen. And very important, this is maybe the most important step here, is at this screen, it doesn't so much matter which of these windows you choose, but it is important that you check the option here to share sound. And what that's going to do is it's going to share the sound from your desktop screen here. The purpose of this, of course, if you are recording video, if you're doing a screen share and you wanted to record some of the audio coming from your PC, you could do that. Um, but we're just using this straight to capture the audio from the machine. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and launch a new tab here. And I'm just going to open up a YouTube video that I have here that I want to record the audio from. This is one of my YouTube videos. We're using this for the test here. And so what you can do is you can, again, go anywhere you want, whether this is something you're trying to record from online, um, something locally you're trying to record the audio from, it doesn't matter, um, just anything that's going to play audio through your speakers. So I have this video up. The next thing that we need to do is we need to start recording from Zoom. So I'm already sharing my screen and I'm sharing the sound. If I click on the More option here and I click on the Record option, you can see here that it says uh, I can either continue without audio or I can unmute myself. I'm going to continue without audio because I only want the audio to come from my PC here. I don't want it to come from my microphone. So now that recording has initiated and you can actually see the record icon here in this middle section here is going. So now I'm actually set to go. So what I can do is I can simply start the audio here from whatever I want to capture and I can play the audio that I want here, and now I can go ahead and pause this when I'm done. Okay, so now that I've recorded what I want here, what I can go ahead and do is click on Stop Share. It's gonna maximize my screen here, and the next thing that I can do is go ahead and click on the Stop Recording option. Okay, so I've stopped the screen share and I've stopped the recording. Now I can click on the End button and End the Meeting for All. And what you're gonna notice here is you're gonna get a pop-up that's going to show you that it's converting the meeting recording. And so as this is converting here, it's going to create two things. It's going to create a video recording uh, of the meeting, which you won't really need in this case. But it's also going to give you an audio file, um, which is the capture of the audio from the meeting. And that's the key thing here, as you can see, that you get this M4A file, which is just audio. Okay, so now that I have this audio file from my meeting here, and you can see that the location, it goes into your... Um, documents, Zoom, and then there's a folder for this particular meeting that it stores the files in. So I have my audio file. Um, there are several different programs that you can use to look at the audio and save it as a different format. Um, there's a free program called OCEN Audio. I'm not sure if it's Ocean Audio or OSEN Audio. Uh, I really don't know how you pronounce it here, but this is the program that I use. It's just a free audio editing software. And I can just simply drag and drop this straight into my screen here. Um, and it's going to read that audio. This is that M4A file, which is the audio recorded from the Zoom call. 
I can select that free space here and I can just get rid of all of that extra free space. And you can see that as I'm removing it, I can get more fine tuned. And then now if I play this back, it's just the audio that I want here. I've isolated just the portion of the audio that I want to actually save uh, and capture here. So that way if you you know, have a delay in when you're starting the recording or if you record too soon, you can segment it so it's just starting at whatever point you want to. And then once you've done this here, if I'm using Ocean Audio, for example, um, I can go in here and I can do a save as and save it as different formats here. I've got all these different formats that I can save it as. Um, or I can also export it, but you can see here that from this program, um, I can do all these different formats, including select MP3, name it, save it, and then I've got my MP3 version of the audio that I just recorded. Guys, that's really all there is to it. All you have to do, again, to uh, capture the audio from your machine is simply do a sound capture um, using the share screen function and the record function in Zoom. You can record all of the audio that you want and then save that onto your machine, um, edit it, and do what you need using you know any program you want. Um, or in my case, Ocean Audio. So again, guys, there are a lot of different options and methods out there on how you can capture audio from your PC or your machine, uh, but this is the method that worked the best for me. I'm curious if you guys have had any experience trying other methods that maybe did or did not work. Uh, leave a comment below and let me know. Um, but otherwise, guys, for this really simple hack, simple trick, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.